This is a Seeking Delphi special edition minicast, previewing the Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference to be held July 11th and 12th, 2019, in New York City. I'm Mark Sackler. The future lives here. The second annual Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference is right around the corner. If you're interested in the subject but were unable to attend the Undoing Aging Conference in Berlin, Germany this past March, this is a golden opportunity to meet and hear some of the leading figures in anti-aging research. The conference is sponsored by LEAF, the Life Extension Advocacy Foundation. Just recently, I spoke to Keith Camito of LEAF to preview the meeting. Here's that conversation. Keith, welcome. Thanks for joining me today on Seeking Delphi. Thanks for having me. To begin with, tell us what the Life Extension Advocacy Foundation is, what's the purpose, and what's your role? Sure. We are a nonprofit organization dedicated to raising funds and awareness for research aimed at extending healthy human lifespan. And perhaps we're the most well-known for our news outlet at leafscience.org and our crowdfunding platform at lifespan.io. And my role is uh, co-founder and president. You have uh, an annual event coming up. This event is in New York City on July 11th and 12th. It is the Ending Age-Related Diseases Conference. How many of these have you done? And, And tell us a little bit about what to expect at this conference. Sure. So this is actually the uh, the second time. You know, last year was our first time, and it was one day conference. Uh, this time, it's a two day conference, and the focus is really on showcasing the credible research that's you know engaged in the mission of overcoming age related disease, combined with other stakeholders like investors and and people from the government, the NIA, basically getting everybody in the room together, journalists, so that can serve as a bellwether, especially in New York here, where, you know, there hasn't been as much focus on life sciences as there has been in other areas of the country, like, you know, California or Boston, for example. So one of the goals here is to essentially help build the rejuvenation biotechnology industry here in New York, in addition to, you know, serving the cause worldwide, of course. So I see some pretty interesting high-powered names on the agenda there. Uh, George Church, Aubrey de Grey. Tell us a little bit about some of these people and what they're going to be talking about at the meeting. So, you know, we this year we're, we've been blessed by having a lot of industry leaders, you know, George and, and uh, Aubrey, as you mentioned, uh, Dr. Judith Campisi as well, famous for her work in senescent cells. Dr. Maria, Maria Blasco, famous for her work in telomeres. So basically... There will be a mixture of talks, some of which is going to be strictly uh, research orientated. What's the latest on the different respective laboratories and how they're hitting the different hallmarks of aging, as they're called. Things like senescent cell buildup, telomeres and intracellular junk, extracellular junk. So there'll be some research, but there'll also be some more broad sweeping talks. So the keynotes uh, given by George Church, for example, Aubrey de Grey, also uh, someone from the NIA, Dr. Ron Kohansky. These will be more sort of sweeping, you know, what's the state of affairs of the field? What are the entry points where people can get involved? And there are a lot of them. And also uh, some talks focused on the the business side of the field. If you're looking to start a biotech company, how do you do that? What are the right areas that are going to become the first vanguard of this research reaching the public? What are the best ways to do that? You know, and also obviously people networking, trying to (laughs) make deals to help drive these companies forward, drive the industry forward. I'm particularly interested in uh, and excited by uh, George Church being there. Do you know the nature of his talk? Is he going to talk at all about what he's doing with Rejuvenate Bio, or is it going to be more of just a general overview of the field? I believe the talk is going to be more of a general overview, but you know, George, he's always got a lot of fires, you know, (laughs) in the oven or irons in the oven, whatever that phrase is. But I I believe I'm actually looking through the program right now to see if if we pin down a, a particular 
talk title for him. Let's see. Aging related gene cell and organ therapy. So that looks like it's going to be the focus there. But knowing George, I'm sure the talk will hit a lot of different areas. He's a fascinating guy, as uh, some of your listeners probably know, and he's working on a million different projects. So he's always interesting to talk to or listen. Keith, we've been to Berlin. We've been to the X Prize to the Future Longevity Impact Roadmap that the X Prize conducted a few weeks ago. And that was the one place where a little bit of talk started coming about regarding potential social implications of super longevity. I'm curious to know, just a little bit off topic for the meeting, because I don't think it's part of the meeting, but I'm just curious to know your view of the social implications. If you looked into that at all, is a leaf interested in exploring that at all? Sure. I'll actually go a little bit further and say, I would say that's one of our primary focuses at LEAF. And it's one of the main reasons why we actually founded as a nonprofit five years ago was specifically this angle of how do we make the case to the public that this is an undeniable, you know, unequivocal societal good, not just at the individual level, but at the socioeconomic level as well. You know, I'm sure, you know, you're familiar with concepts such as the gray tsunami or population aging. And it's kind of a ticking time bomb. It's similar to some sense to kind of how the debate has evolved with, say, climate change. It's something that people are aware of and have been aware of for a long time that baby boomers are getting older. And if we don't learn how to age healthier as a society, existing social safety net programs like Social Security and Medicare, uh, any system that relies on enough able-bodied people to support a system is going to essentially collapse unless we get better about this. So that's sort of the the major (laughs) overriding thesis of why we have to get on this. On another side of it, I also am personally interested in sort of the humanitarian philosophical angles here, where at the bottom line, the way I view overcoming the diseases of aging is essentially an extension of choice, of agency in your own life and and the lives of of your loved ones, to be able to If you're a ballerina and that's what you love to do, kind of objectively stinks that Father Time comes in and says, yeah, you know that thing that you love to do or the people that you love to see, but you can't do that anymore. And we wouldn't accept that if it was a a person or some other institution forcing that on us, but we kind of tacitly accept accept that from time because it's always been hopeless until now. Thank you so much for this input, Keith. And before we wrap this brief preview of your meeting up, please tell our listeners how they can uh, attend. What do they need to do? Sure. It's uh, very simple. They can just go to lifespan.io slash conference, and they'll find the information about the conference there. And also there's information about a workshop that's happening before the conference for anyone looking to uh, get more directly involved in founding a biotech company. And I was able to uh, secure a discount code also for your listeners. So if, if anyone goes to lifespan.io slash conference and wants to attend, uh, when you get to the event bright, if you put in the code Delphi2019, you should get a 10% discount. First five people to do that should get a discount. So I've done what I can. <laughs> Well, thank you for that, Keith. I'm sure I've hopefully got some uh, listeners out that there who appreciate that, and hopefully somebody will take advantage of it. Keith, thanks so much for your time. I'm looking forward to seeing you in a, a few weeks at the conference. Absolutely. Looking forward to it as well. If you're interested in taking advantage of that discount code, Delphi 2019, a link to the conference registration will be posted on the webpage for this podcast at www.seekingdelphi.com. Be sure to check back later in July for interviews and commentary from the conference. Until next time, I'm Mark Sackler. <music>